Here at home, Hamilton Public Health says youth vaping has climbed in the city along with fines for those who sell to underage youth. They say so far this year they've laid 80 charges to retailers for selling tobacco and vapor products to minors. Jason Gajola has those details. It's uh, called cloudy. During her smoke break, Caitlin Semple says she may end up using her cotton candy flavored vape pen over a cigarette, a trend she is noticing among adults and even among younger people. The way I could put it is I, I can see like I've seen 11 year olds that are vaping. It's too easily accessible. The Mohawk College student and others believe the variety of e-cigarettes is what attracts minors. I think that's that's pretty much what it is. It like it has like there's so many different flavors to choose from. Vaping, smoking, it's stress related, but vaping seems to be a safer alternative. It's not. According to the Ontario government, vapor smoking among youths in grades 7 to 12 has more than doubled in the past five years, which resulted in concerns of its nicotine impacts on teenage brains, learning, memory and concentration. It's an issue because it's around 23% of Canadian youth who have vaped in the last month, and it's a little bit higher in Hamilton. Hamilton Public Health's Jan Johnston says access for the electronic smoke is also a concern. Echoing Hamilton's chief medical officer, Dr. Elizabeth Richardson today, saying it's no coincidence that there has been a concerning increase in youth accessing and purchasing age-restricted products. Convenience stores um, and some of the charges were for uh, specialty vape shops too. And a lot of them are around schools. And, uh, and so that's convenient for minors. Under provincial law, selling or supplying tobacco or vapor products to an individual under the age of 19 could result in a fine of $490. Smoking or vaping on school property or other prohibited public places can also result in a $305 charge. City Councillor Jeff Beatty says he facilitated a War 10 Youth Council this year to help raise awareness. They have expressed at previous meetings that it's taking place uh, within school settings, uh, in bathrooms, sometimes in hallways. The product dissipates very quickly and doesn't have uh, an unpleasant odor. Uh, it's very difficult to enforce. Beatty says the students are slated to meet again next week to develop educational campaigns. The same group presented six recommendations to curb vape usage at a past city council meeting. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Hamilton.